Well, welcome to the ARRL Laboratory. I'm Ed Hare, W1RFI. I'm the laboratory manager, although sometimes I'm also known around here as the lab dad. These are some of the projects we've worked on here in the lab over the years. Uh, you may recognize some of them, uh, like the famous Tuna Tin 2. Up here is some of the work we've done for some of the MSAT satellites done in the lab as well. But actually, uh, we do more work now uh, looking at some of the projects submitted by our members. Probably some of the most important work the lab does for members is a lot of the things we do to help our Washington DC team with a lot of its work before the FCC. In fact this week I'm working on some of the filings we're doing on the broadband over power line uh, reconsideration of, that's now before the Commission. Uh, I also do a lot of work with industry committees. I serve, for example, on some of the IEEE Electromagnetic Compatibility Committees to make sure that amateur radio maintains a seat at some of these very important industry tables. Well, here in the lab, of course, you can see our workbenches, and yes, we do get to burn a little bit of solder now and again. Uh, this actually is the personal station of Zach Lau, W1VT, ARRL's senior lab engineer. Zach, why don't you come out and talk a little bit about your station? Okay, I'm Zach Lau, Whiskey One Victor Tango. Uh, this is uh, something I product reviewed uh, for QST, a DB6NT 10 gigahertz transverter. It was a kit and I uh, adapted it for this particular dish. Uh, I also came up with a dish feed for it. Uh, this is actually published in QEX. Um, we've uh, changed our emphasis in the lab at one time we used to do a lot of projects like this, but now we do a lot of uh, uh, work helping people uh, find answers to technical questions and uh, better understand the technical side of amateur radio. Well, this is the ARRL's screen room, and I'd like you to meet Bob Allison, WB1GCM, ARRL's product review test engineer. Hi, Bob Allison here, WB1GCM. Thanks for joining me here in the screen room. In this shielded cage, known as a Faraday cage, we get to test amateur radio transmitters without outside interference, especially from W1AW when they're transmitting on seven bands at a kilowatt and a half across the parking lot. Inside the screen room, we have uh, calibrated equipment that's calibrated yearly. Signal generators, uh, spectrum analyzers, signal analyzers, distortion meter, and uh, three really nice signal generators and a storage oscilloscope. And uh, this equipment is calibrated yearly at a calibration laboratory. So we can stand behind the uh, measurements that we take. We're now in the uh, W1HQ station room here at uh, ARR headquarters. And uh, this is the station that's used for the station staff. Of course, uh, when we're off the clock, <laughs> after hours, we can come in here and actually use the station. A lot of people that are staff members uh, live in apartments or condos, so they don't have uh, outside antennas available. So this is a nice way to actually get on the air and work some DX or maybe an old friend back home. The ARRL laboratory also sports a conducted emission screen room. In here we measure conducted emission of unintentional radiators. And conducted emission is RF energy that's conducted onto the power line of a consumer or amateur radio device. And the FCC Part 15B limits set conducted emission levels. And so we can plug things into our line impedance stabilization network, our LISN, and find out how much noise actually is uh, emitted and conducted onto power lines inside this standardized room. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Mike Gruber here at the ARRL lab in Newington, Connecticut. And I'm an EMC engineer. I handle all kinds of interference cases uh, ranging from power line noise and telephone, RFI, uh, various electronic devices, you name it, and we've probably had a complaint. At any rate, I'd like to talk a little bit about power line noise. Uh, we do have here, I wanted to show you this professional grade EMC receiver. Uh, it's an RFI locator and uh, with it we can locate power line noise. Um, which is a which is actually one of the biggest uh, reported uh, sources of interference to amateur radio here at the ARRL lab, and this uh, this is also on antenna uh, made by the same company, 
that made the receiver, and they're, they're used in conjunction with each other to locate power line noise sources. With it, we can uh, pin down a, a power line noise source right to the pole, and then after that we have other instruments that we can use to pinpoint the hardware on that pole. I'm Mike Gruber, W1MG, and I hope that you have enjoyed your tour of the ARRL Lab. Thank you.